This 18-month-old western painted turtle is enjoying a swim in Alder Grove Regional Park. This is his very first time swimming in the wild. Up until today, he lived in a tank at the Greater Vancouver Zoo, where he was raised by members of the Coastal Painted Turtle Project. We collect eggs from the last remaining historical populations that are a bit further out in the valley towards Agassiz. And then we take them back to Greater Vancouver Zoo and we incubate them, which takes about 55 to 65 days before they hatch. And then we keep them over winter, uh, rear them, feed them, uh, keep them warm and awake, not hibernating so that they grow throughout the winter. And then we release them about a year later. The Coastal Painted Turtle Project is dedicated to protecting Western painted turtles. This endangered species is the only remaining freshwater turtle native to BC. Every spring, the group releases baby turtles into several of Metro Vancouver's regional parks. More than 400 turtles to date. Eight, seven, eight, two. Each has its own microchip. The information in the microchips is unique for each turtle and it goes back in our database and it links back up to all the information we've collected on that turtle since it hatched. So we can continue to track their growth and how their growth changes once they're released into the wild and we'll continue to track their genetic lines once they in fact start laying eggs as well. The beach at Alder Grove Regional Park was built specifically for turtles to help give them their best shot at reaching their 60-year life expectancy. Much of the Western Painted Turtle's natural habitat in BC has been destroyed by development or invasive plants. When they hatch, they're about five grams. So today we release them probably an average about 60 grams. And at that size, we know that they have about a 90 to 95% survival in the wild. So having a turtle that's that large means that most invasive predators will not be able to eat these turtles. A beautiful day like this is the perfect time to release the turtles. It gives them a much easier transition to the wild. Burnaby Lake Regional Park also has a protected turtle beach created by Metro Vancouver, the Coastal Painted Turtle Project, and the Burnaby Lake Park Association. Members of the Coastal Painted Turtle Project check up on the turtles daily in the springtime. On this evening, Amy Mitchell and Deanna McTavish find a female turtle on a main path. Who is this? 134. She's been in the parking lot? Yeah, she was in the parking lot. She was born in the wild, so she doesn't have a microchip. Every turtle that we encounter in the park, we, we give them each an individual number. It just makes it easier for identification. Turtles should only be approached and handled by trained researchers like Deanna and Amy. Here you go, Mama. And they know Turtle 134 very well. She's about 30 years old. Last year, she nested near the parking lot, and now she keeps going back there. Deanna and Amy encourage her to nest and lay eggs on the Turtle Beach. But Turtle 134 is not cooperating. She heads for the lake so that she can swim across it to the parking lot. A different turtle, number 179, laid eggs on the beach during the previous evening. Mother turtles leave the area after they finish nesting. Deanna puts a protective cage over the nest to discourage predators such as raccoons, coyotes, and humans. And it's got her identification number and the nest number on it. Recently, blood samples taken from the western painted turtles in this park led to a surprising discovery. In fact, at Burnaby Lake here, there were two genetically distinct populations, which indicates that these turtles are genetically unique to the region, at least since the last ice age. That's, that's really cool. On this evening, a second attempt to get Turtle 134 to nest on the beach isn't working out, as she goes back to the lake again. But in general, this beach has been a big hit with the turtles. We are looking at installing an additional Western Painted Turtle nesting beach uh, towards the west side of the lake to provide an alternate site for them. And we're hoping that uh, within a year and a half, we can introduce turtles to that beach and that they will begin to be uh, as productive as they are at this beach uh, within a number of years.
The Coastal Painted Turtle Project is partnering with Metro Vancouver in five regional parks with plans to expand the program each year.